Good afternoon, Wilson parents, students, and community members. This is Tim Carter, superintendent of Wilson Central School District, with messages and updates for you for August 12, 2021. And this uh, is beginning our reopening uh, updates for the 2021-2022 school year. Um, I did a message at the board meeting this past Tuesday, and I just want to you know, read this message to the community and uh, send this out along with uh, a letter and updates um, that are coming up. So uh, I want to begin by thanking uh, the community for patience, the Board of Education for its continual support and allowing me and the reopening team to make recommendations about the safest and best way to reopen our schools for our kids. As you may know, about two weeks ago, the governor indicated that neither he, his office, nor the New York State Department of Health would be giving any guidance as it relates to reopening stu students' guidance and procedures for the 2021-2022 school year. Then in a follow-up message, the New York State Department of Health indicated they would not be sending out any guidance for re reopening for of schools, but suggested that we follow CDC guidance. In a message received earlier this week, um, New York State Education Department indicated that they would be sending out guidance in the absence of any information from the Department of Health or from the governor's office. Um, and late this week, we did receive um, some updated guidance. As you can tell, we've had little or no guidance up to this point uh, of the summer. And over the last year and a half, Wilson Central School District's priority has been having our students in school as many days possible. The district is going to do what it has done all along, educate our students and focus on the students that are coming to school. It has been our goal to make sure all of our students are in school five days a week. You've heard me say this more than one time. I know we bounced around between four and five days at the elementary, but coming into this school year, it is our goal to have all of our students pre-K through grade 12 in school five days a week. Um, and I'll talk a little bit more about that. And while we have no concrete answers, I can tell you that the district reopening team is going to be meeting and has met over the last couple of weeks and going to continue to meet to make recommendations um, for the best possible decision for our students with the goal of having them in five days a week. Our reopening team is made up of administrators, board members, teachers, non instructional personnel, along with parents and community members. We'll be meeting to identify the best, safest, and most reasonable way for our students to return to school. We will be working on the daily health screens, temperature checks, social distancing, use of masks, how often, when and where, cafeteria use to usage for lunch and breakfast, masks, when, where, if needed, um, sports guidance, busing arrangements, transportation, and things like that. It is the goal of the reopening team to present a reopening plan to the Board of Education to review, uh, make comments, and approve at the August 24th board meeting. The plan will be made available as part of the board agenda on August 20th, which is Friday before the board meeting. Um, it'll be available in the board agenda um, attached to board docs, but it's also be made, made available on the board website, and I'll send a link out to uh, the community so you'll have it. And then after the plan is presented, I will be communicating with the community as I did last year, to make sure that there's understanding on how we're going to be moving forward this school year. A couple things I can tell you, um, you know, I've been saying this all along, remote in, uh, instruction was not effective for all of our students, for the majority of our students last year. Um, so we are pulling back on some of that remote instruction. As you'll see in the letter that I wrote, if, you would, uh, if your child is in need of remote instruction, it needs to be for a health concern and you need to get a message or a note from your doctor. If you're going to uh, need that uh, medical exemption, please call um, our student services office at 751-3200 extension 130 um, to get the form to uh, be able to do that and that form needs to be accompanied by a physician's note and with that physician's note and that form our medical director will take a look at and determine if it is a health concern um, that needs remote instruction so again if you um, are in need of a remote instruction exemption 
uh, because you don't believe your child can be in school based upon a medical concern, uh, either with the child or with a family member, we need to get a note from a doctor in order to, for remote instruction to happen um, for this particular school year. Again, the focus is on all of our students that are going to be in school. Our remote students, it will be nothing like we had last year. Um, it will not be live instruction. It will be primarily asynchronous with some assistance from some teachers. We used grant money to focus on providing a remote instructor for elementary, middle, and high school and that person will help guide the students that are out remote through the, uh, the asynchronous work. Uh, if you have any questions or concerns, as I said in the letter, please don't hesitate to email me at tcarter at wilsoncsd.org or send me a message uh, through the district clerk at 751-9399 and I'll be glad to get back to you. Thank you and have a good evening.